Hey everybody, welcome back with a new video. As promised in previous week's video, today I'm going to teach you about the editor timeline tools in HitFilm. Now HitFilm Express and HitFilm Pro both have the same tools, so you can do this in both versions of the software. Let's start with the most basic item, the selection tool. The selection tool will probably be used most often as it covers a big part of editing. You can select a clip by clicking on it. More clips can be selected at the same time by holding control while clicking. An alternative method of selecting multiple clips is by holding your left mouse button and dragging a selection box around them. You can move one or multiple clips by clicking and dragging them around on the timeline. When you move a clip to the place of an existing clip, it replaces the old one with the new one. You can hold shift while dragging clips, which makes sure that all the clips on the timeline are cut at the in point of that clip and be moved to the right. This essentially isolates the new clip on the timeline, with all the other layers being moved after it. Holding alt while dragging clips makes a copy of them instead of just moving. The selection tool is also used to trim clips. If you move your mouse to the beginning or end of a clip, the trim icon appears, making you able to drag the beginning or end to change the duration. Next up is the drag tool. When selected, this tool allows you to scroll horizontally over the timeline. The same functionality can be achieved by holding alt while scrolling. However, the drag tool gives you a much more precise scroll. The slice tool allows you to slice a clip by clicking on a certain point where you want the cut to happen. By pressing alt while clicking with the slice tool, it cuts all the layers at that moment. Instead of going to the slice tool for each cut, you can also select the clip that you want to cut and press ctrl shift D. I myself changed that shortcut to the D key only, so that I have to press just one key to make a cut. The slip tool is a little bit more complicated to explain. When this tool is used on a clip, you can change its in and out point without changing the length and position on the timeline. When doing so, you get a special viewer. The top two clips are the last frame of the previous clip and the first frame of the next clip. This makes sure that you can see what's before and after the current clip. The two big bottom viewers are the in and out point of the current clip. When using the slide tool, you can slide a clip around without changing its length. The end frame of the previous clip and the first frame of the next clip get adjusted so that there are no gaps. When using the ripple edit tool, you can change the length of a clip and the software makes sure that there are no gaps by moving all of the following clips to an appropriate point. You can also use the ripple delete option by right clicking a clip or a gap. This makes sure that the software automatically moves all of the clips to the right to close up the gap. Next up is the roll edit tool. This tool is extremely useful when fine tuning edits. When you change the in or out point of a clip with the roll edit tool, it also changes the in or out point of the clip before or after it. This makes you able to create a very exact edit. The rate stretch tool can be used to make a clip faster or slower by changing its length. For example, if you stretch a clip to twice its size, it will play back at half the speed. You can make fine tuned speed and length adjustments by right clicking a clip and going to the speed and duration properties. You can turn snapping on or off by clicking the magnet item at the bottom left of the editor timeline or by pressing shift s. Snapping makes sure that the clips snap to the beginning or end of other clips. You can also move to the beginning or end of a selected clip by pressing the page up and page down keys respectively. And that's it for the in-depth editor timeline tool tutorial. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye bye. Hi there. Thanks for watching. Click here to see my latest video. Click here to see a highlighted one and click here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.